anatomical structure outside of the ear. It's called the pinna. It's shaped like a funnel. So it's naturally designed to force sound waves down into the ear canal. And the reason it starts out big and then gets smaller is that provides kind of natural amplification from the structure. It hits the ear drum. The reason it's called an ear drum is it works just like a regular drum that you would hit. When sound waves hit that drum, it vibrates. The exact same way you would like a snare drum or any other type of uh, drum. That then rocks these three little bones. They're called the ossicles. They are the three smallest bones in your body. Sometimes you'll see them referred to as the hammer, the anvil, and the stirrup, uh, just because of the way they're shaped. Those little bones, as the eardrum is rocking them back and forth, also rock in and out of a little oval window here. And this is called the cochlea. So this is actually the organ of hearing. When that rocks back and forth, it changes fluid pressure in this organ, which vibrates up and down, stimulating very, very, very tiny hairs that then fire off a little nerve impulse. That nerve impulse is sent through the auditory nerve and on up to the brain. Now, I'm not a neurologist, so I'm not going to go in detail about all the little centers and stop-off points. This is going to be kind of a, a quick breakdown. So, it leaves the cochlea, goes up the auditory nerve into what they call the brain stem, and then it begins to go into the auditory uh, cortexes in the brain, where your brain is actually designed to categorize each sound that it hears. So it's doing that in those temporal uh, lobes, and it's categorizing it in speech and language and different sounds and breaking it down. So the ear is actually a tool that picks up the sound and interprets it and breaks it down. The brain is actually the computer that processes or interprets and understands that sound. 